Hi, Rod A. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> um, vacuum pots. Vacuum pots. Yeah. A very ancient and noble way to brew your coffee. Ancient, really? Ancient. What's uh, the history of the vacuum pot? Well, uh, it was first patented in the early 1840s by Mademoiselle Vasseau oh. in France. Uh, so it uh, has a very old pedigree. There's a uh, controversy about the vacuum pot that it was actually uh, developed in the 1830s by a German, but uh, Mademoiselle Vousseau is generally credited with the invention of the vacuum pot. Controversy over a vacuum pot. Now, did she mean to make one, or was it one of those, like, uh, she was trying to, for something different? No, no, she meant to make she it. She meant to make she it. She was uh, apparently very prolific. She has number of French patents. Oh, she was an inventor. She was an inventress. Inventress. <laughs> okay. So, um, you, we have the Bodum. Um, what's the name of this specific the model? The Santos. The Santos. Um, and you are going to demonstrate it for yes, us. Yes, it's uh, quite a device. It works on the uh, very scientific principle of vapor pressure. Okay. So, you have your coffee, ground coffee in the top, mm -hmm. your water in the bottom, when heat is applied, the vapor pressure of the expanding water coming into steam pushes the water up into the upper chamber. And then once all the water is up in the upper chamber, you remove it from the heat, the gases contract, and this vacuum then pulls the water back through the grounds once again. Okay. Back into lower chamber. It's quite a treat to watch. And then this is your serving pot. Yes. The okay. two halves come asunder and... You serve. Got it. Um, so when you did your experimentation, um, Bodum said like a scoop per serving, but what did we find? We found, well, and we were using Velton's Twilight Blend, which mm -hmm. is uh, ground for drip. We found that eight scoops of a drip grind works better. That's uh, a fine drip, technically. Yes. That's for pour over. You could probably get away with six scoops if you used a finer grind because yeah. this is actually pushing the coffee or the water through the coffee grounds under pressure, both up and down, mm -hmm. a finer grind will net you a stronger extraction. Got it. Okay. So show me the construction here. We've got our, our hot plate toasting it's up. It's warming up. So the bottom carafe looks like just a regular old glass carafe. Mm -hmm. And then the top part, the scientific part, science consists of this little doohickey, which is your filter. <laughs> okay. And then this chamber, which has a rubber stopper. It does look very much like a beaker set it's or something. It's going to blind us with science. Yeah. If it hasn't already. So to set up, you hook this little spring mm -hmm. over the bottom. Okay. And this holds the filter part down tight against the bottom. Okay. So when your vapor is going up and when your vacuum is going down, it's not going to... Bring any, uh, or bring any coffee grounds Correct. back down. Okay. Vacuum pot is famous for giving you a very, very clean cup. All right. Despite the fact that the filter and technology is pretty low fi yeah, yeah, it's very low fi So we're going to fill this up. We're going to do six cups. Or thereabouts. We're not slaves to rationalism where it has to be precise. I am. Well, that's okay. I'm totally rational. <laughs> Aren't I, Rade? <laughs> He's like, could have fooled me. <laughs> and then we're going to make sure that the top portion fits nice and snug because you want a vacuum seal, okay. that rubber stopper. And we're going to scoop out Belton's finest twilight drip. And how many scoops are you going to do in our... I'm going to do eight scoops. Okay. And again... And it comes with that scoop. It comes with the scoop. They're mostly level scoops. <laughs> we're not... You're not doing rounded, really? We're not slaves to... <laughs> What's with you and your your slaves to no, X no, lines? Just, you know, slaves to precision. This is, this is art more than science. It and looks pretty scientific, though. Well, savor the mystery, that's all I can say. Okay. This is the sort of coffee maker that would be at home in a 19th century Russian aristocrat's home. So, <laughs> you know. so just go with that. Just, yeah. Okay. Pretend you're a Russian yes. aristocrat before the revolution. Before the revolution. Because after the revolution... You would not get this. You would not get this. You would be lucky to get anything at all. <laughs> 
seven and eight. Okay. So now we're gonna place it on the heat and wait for the magic to start. Okay, and um, so we just have to wait for that bottom exactly. area Once to, the water to boil. Heats up, okay, it will start to push water because the tube goes down towards the bottom. Start to push the water up through the grounds, and then almost all the water will leave this lower chamber and be up here. And then there'll be a sudden whoosh, like a great rush of wind, <laughs> and the water will be pulled back down. When we when we pull it off the heat, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So um, this is not that riveting. So I will be back once some action starts. Excellent. As you can see, the uh, grounds are starting to get wet because water is being pushed up, and the water level is no longer on the six cup line. It is a couple cups worth lower than that. So uh, the uh, it's kind of just like a slow... Well, it uh, starts off slow. Okay. But when it goes, it really goes. Didn't you say it's sort of volcanic? It's a little volcanic. Mount St. Rade. Something like that. <laughs> so this is sort of like the pre-infusion. You know, <laughs> if you want to uh, you know, put it's it in those two terms. It's a two-minute long pre-infusion. The nice thing about the vacuum pot is sort of by design... Uh, the water obviously is getting close to boiling, but it's not quite boiling down here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, so your brew temperature is very near 200 degrees. It gives you a very accurate... So you're not like boiling the heck out not, of these grinds, No, you're basically. not going to be boiling these grinds. The it, water, by the time it hits those grinds, is not boiling. You can see we've got like, quite a bit of water in there. Yeah. Right? You can see in the bottom, it's... It's not really like bubbling, boiling. It's just sort of. It's like a simmer. It's a simmer. Yeah, you've got like very little water in there now. Aha! There we go. Interruption. <laughs> the molten the coffee. Molten. That is when you know. To pull it off. Pull it off because the water, that bubble of air, is. The tube at the bottom mm -hmm. is now dry. It's not in oh, water anymore. Oh, okay. So now it's just going to chill. Here, so how about I turn chill. that off for you, Rade? Oh, well, all right. <laughs> My wife always has to do that. <laughs> and then slowly we're going to start to see it come down once it yes. kind of, the, Actually, the temperature changes. Once the temperature drops, it's going to come down fairly rapidly. Okay. There we go. So you do, there's a little bit of water left over in a there. A little bit left so over, that's but kind of like really part of not your, enough to, it's not going to affect your cup. No, but it's like that's something to keep in mind as far as there's going to be a little bit of dilution. So maybe exactly. making that, a, you know, a tinch stronger or something. Is that what you think? Or am I just putting words in your mouth? Uh, well, you just put words in my mouth. That's okay. <laughs> the nice thing about the water staying in the bottom is you'll never be able to get that out of there so you don't have to worry about running it dry really. Not yeah. That you want to, you know, leave it on the stove for hours, but it's This is very scientific. No, it's a mystery. Okay. Savor the mystery. <laughs> is there a specific point when I know okay, I'm all done or is it you just Once are all you going to get out of the top? Is it going to be at that 6 yep, cup again? It'll come up I didn't six lose cup. any water no. during the not a significant amount. Okay. Other nice thing is the vacuum pressure that's pulling the water back through the grounds. Yeah. Really sucks the grounds fairly dry. So you don't have a soupy mess in the top. That is true. So. so. I noticed that when I cleaned up after you last yeah, week. My wife has to do that for me often, <laughs> The last little bitty. The last little bit. <laughs> the last stand. There okay. we go. And if you'll notice, you have a pretty, yeah. there's some bubbles in there, but it's a pretty dry, dry mass. Yeah, it's not really soupy. Okay. Thanks, Rate. You're quite welcome. Mmm. 
That's really good. Very clean. Yeah. Very delicious. Is that all you're gonna say? That's all. How I'm about saying. you just sit there, and be silent, and we can in an, an, an uncomfortable silence. An awkward silence. Yeah. Well, there's no better silence than an awkward. <laughs> one. I agree with that. Um, okay, so could you like, can we switch it around a little bit to see? I mean, sure. I don't think you see. I don't think we're there's, gonna be able to see any. Yeah, there's, there's no grounds really in there. Almost nothing in there. Yeah. Yeah, let's view it through. Uh, there's a few, but yeah, really... but consider a thing that you just have a little basic plastic disc in there, right. you know? It's a disc with a bunch of grooves in it, yeah. and uh, it really does the job. It's simple, which I like. Yes. And uh, fun to watch. So can you? Um, so you? This is the first time, or last week was the first time around. You d used mm -hmm. this type of thing. Do you think? Okay, so it's you've got your heat source. Uh, do you feel like you could do this on? I mean, is this something you could take that is you could take places like I know the well, stovetop you could use camping, they're a little but fragile. I yeah. mean, this is all glass, but uh, certainly it would. Uh, as long as you had maybe a, a nice mahogany fitted case that you made for it, <laughs> uh, lined with velvet, yeah, it would work fine. Cool. But uh, as far as simple uh, heat source, water, and grounds. Uh, mm -hmm. And a great cup at the end. And a great cup. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that is the Bodum Santos vacuum pot. Thank, Thank you, Rade. You're welcome.